Hello to everyone, this is Vishal and again we are on the second session of uh, composite layouts. So in uh, uh, composable layouts as we have done last time that uh, how we can use the text and how we can render the UI dynamically there is no need of XMLs and uh, we have done with the simple text and the multiple text rendering on that. So today uh, everything be uh, not good if we, we, we can't show the images because of uh, everywhere we need the images okay. So as per the last discussions we have done with this text layouts we have done with this font we have done with this uh, columns on that multiple how we can use that multiple text on that so we have done these things. So now as uh, today we discuss about the images so image element how we can render it how we can use it and uh, as uh, uh, you know that if you want the circular images and likewise that so for we need uh, external libraries on that so no need of like that so here everything should be very easy whenever we you can use that image elements we have okay so uh, today we have to learn that uh, image element and again uh, thank you for your lovely comments and your appreciations again so we are uh, working together for like this and uh, will um, give you the more sessions in the in the future and uh, valuable sessions we can discuss always means we always discuss the basic things on that whatever be your complex logic whatever be your the simple so what's once your base is clear you can do everything okay so now uh, we have to start this thing but uh, we need to understand that how we can use this so here very simple resource manager we can use it like that image from your photo library so this thing we can use it just simply using with the image and under that image tag what we have to do you just simply use the painter painter what we can do by the painter there is a painter resource and which kind of painting you want on that simple so here you can fetch your data from your drawable or here you can use it from uh, whatever your dynamic images also so we'll describe it later how we can use that but today we have to learn that a simple paint resource we need it we have a content description and when we have a third is modifiers so three parameters needed for this number one painter number two your content description number three is modifier so under the modifier if you want to show the clip you can provide the size you can provide the clip type means you need a square you need a circle which kind of shape you want okay so that uh, we have to discuss uh, for this so and here we know that the jetpack compose provides an implementation of the material design so here we have uh, just like we can see that here we already work with these themes uh, i will describe you how we can do that dark theme and uh, light theme but here we have to discuss the material design color typography and shape the three things we need to consider here for the image okay so here we provide the clip shapes if you want to go for the colors we can provide that we have a typography means which kind of text you need it so the basic thing is just we have to learn that how we can render the images and how we can use that so here one more thing that is very important last time we haven't discussed that is called your modifiers so modifier also be a very good for um, if you want to go for a paddings so whenever you want the paddings on your means uh, gaps on that so what we needed we needed like this so if you want uh, top and your left or right so you can initialize like that simple as we have done on your our XML but here you can just say if you want go for all means all like 1 point dp 2 point dp 3 point dp 4 point dp likewise that you can provide it so that's very simple whenever we go for that so let us start it on uh, practical i think the uh, most of the things we need to discuss practically so we go for the android studio and learn that
Okay, so let us start in Android Studio as uh, we have done last time uh, that uh, all the multiple columns we can use and how we can use that uh, multiple text there. So these all uh, completed on the last task. So now uh, n I commented this code and now we have to show with the fresh new code and then say function image render view. Okay. So here what happened on this render view in image render view it's a very simple uh, you just uh, call the row because of uh, as uh, we have discussed last time how we can implement the columns we can create a multiple columns the same you can create a rows multiple rows on that so for this what we need to do you just simply say the row and here you can pass whatever your modifiers and you can use this bracket this is called your row scope simple and uh, here if you want to preview the things so you can say that preview image and here you can go call this image render view just simple okay so the first thing is whenever you use this row if you want to use the margins paddings so what we can do you just use the modifiers so here we can say modifier and you just simply pass it the modifier oh. dot padding and here you can say that uh, which kind of padding you want I want all kind of padding so you can say in all directions I want so you say 8 point DP or whatever you want on whatever be the required okay I'm just uh, using the same as on Android site studio tutorial on so the same I want to represent you practically what it's going on but later I will show you the animation how we can make a perfect layouts and how we can implement these all uh, we can use it one by one so here uh, this is a very simple we can use this row okay so we have to follow uh, simple steps here as I discussed that we need a row then we have a one more image that simple image I just put it in the drawable that is called user image and once it's done just simply you can see that is a row row and column I think I already described you last time column but here uh, just the column the same we have to use this row and under the row we use this modifier the first step second step we need to use that image and that image be first uh, we have to go for parenthesis and here we have to pass few things here the first parameter so that is called your painter painter that is for painter resource okay that I already described you and here you just put it whatever be you want to paint that is r dot drawable dot your image I'm using the user image okay so first use this comma the second step you can use that content description okay so here you can pass it null or whatever we you want that so if I'm using that image user or whatever be uh, if you want then third is important again we need a modifier so modifier is very important be here for um, paddings for clippings for everything so here you can check that here we have a modifier then you can use here the size of whatever be a size you want for that means that means 20 dp 40 dp so likewise 40 dot dp so here you need dot okay and uh, this thing uh, these three uh, simple things be happen and I want a clip so which kind of clip you want the square circle so I want be the circle image so here this is a circle shape very easy in three easy steps you can use this image once it's done I want a spacer so that is the spacer it's just whatever be the uh, width you want to describe you can go for that so here it is a modifier uh, sorry that 
dot width so i am using at this time uh, the width is 8 dot dp okay so that means we need a space in a row after the image then i am using the column or simple text whatever you want if you want a column that means you need to describe two or more text okay so here i am using the column and uh, no need of this just simple the column what we need it we just pass the text here so here you can just simply pass the text and under the text you can say whatever be your text this is called header or oh, whatever you need it on that okay that's very simple and um, then if you want to any description one more spacer you require just copy it and paste that spacer also again and i want uh, here the width is 4 dp and again the text be required whatever be you want on this is your description just like where we are using so this is very useful whenever you use the recycler view or wherever you need it so you can put it under the card view like that so in uh, future videos i will describe animations and lot of things here but this is a very simple steps you can follow the first tutorial was simply on the text the second tutorial is just simply on images so you can also check the preview be there view you just simply call this as i told you simply call this function be here and you can see that this is the render view here so this is the header this is the body if you want be the font style i think on the last session i told you how can use the font with the taxes okay so uh, make it little small on the description and the top here so simple uh, this is a simple row and under this row we have this circular image this is the header and this is the description this is the body so this is the second step you use this composable and that's very easy believe me if you want to use that if you use that on the your project so uh, we continue uh, go for the third step of the session and then see how we can implement we have to implement the themes we have to implement the animation so a lot of stops with there but one by one we can uh, implement it so thank you so much for the day and then uh, just practice on this image 